Well, we've just recently done a, a community questionnaire which has gone to all the local schools, other organisations, general public. And the replies that's come back because we asked for suggestions for development. The main one, obviously, surprisingly, is for a sports centre. The whole effort was centred around Gallagher Park because it's central to the whole of Bedlintonshire. We're going to produce a list of short term objectives which will be things like seats, picnic benches, but also keep a focus on longer term objectives, which will be uh, some sort of sports facility down there. We'd like to improve, especially around Gallagher Park, um, the facilities there for the number of kids that do actually play football there. It would be nice to try and get a building put there with at least some changing room facilities and toilet facilities. The British Island Development Officer has stated that there is money available for develop a uh, cyclone facility in the North East. On the open day uh, last year, uh, Kelvin Beatty, who was the national champion at the time, opened it. And we had 200 children there taking part in the activities. And every week after that, there's youngsters using it informally to do BMX skills and events. Last academic year, we bust or we, we transported across my region over six and a half thousand child bottoms on seats to competitive events at a cost of around £17,000 for transport and on top of that we incurred a further cost of around £8,000 purely to hire facilities because there is no facility in this area that we could get either cheaper or for free. There just aren't any facilities in Bedlington. I used to do basketball, rugby, running, but then I stopped all of them because I used to captain the basketball team last year. But then like when I couldn't train anywhere outside of school, like I lost my skills so I had to stop playing. So it's like nowhere and like everyone even says just like stay in the house because there's nothing else to do and then my parents complain because I stay in the house. So it's like nothing really. I'm, a, I'm originally not from the North East, I'm from uh, West Yorkshire, which is a high level rugby league, um, you know, county. And the facilities there, the, the, there's a pitch everywhere you go, so I'm pretty surprised at that. I don't think that's uh, good at all, especially for young people like yourself who just want to, you know, play rugby or you know any sport really. Uh, if you don't got the facilities, and it's no good whatsoever. So it's absolutely essential that they have facilities where they can work and uh, and, uh, and play whether they are playing netball, basketball, football, whatever sport they're in, they need to have time with the ball, they need to, have a, uh, they need to get the skills that uh, internationally uh, some players have a, an advantage because of the weather. So it's very important that the facilities in, uh, in this uh, area and region are the best that they can be. And I hope that uh, you're successful in, in getting uh, the facilities that you want uh, up to speed. I think it's extremely important. And I think, uh, yeah, just for the community as well, you know, somewhere where children can go and be together and, and work on, you know, team dynamics and spirit and especially keeps people out of trouble and things like that. And, um, yeah, I think it's a, a great thing if you can, can get more of it in, in and around your community. And if you uh, are successful in getting this sports facility, I'd like to offer my services to open it. I think that would be lovely. <laughs>